What's going on everybody? Darth Crow Knight here. I'm a new member of the PS3 team and uh, this is my introduction commentary where you guys get to know me a little bit and uh, hopefully I get to know you and your comments a little bit and yeah, I mean let's get right into it, right? Um, like I said, new member of the Darth Empire team on the PS3 side. Very excited to be here and from the, the guys that are currently on the team and the videos I've seen and the commentaries and the montages. Um, I have something to live up to, I guess. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a montage anywhere else that had uh, amazing kill feeds that other than the Darth Empire. So I'm very proud and honored to be here um, to, on the Darth Empire team. And I'm going to be going into a little bit of background of where I came from in gaming, where I came from uh, from YouTube, as well as where I started in Call of Duty, because Call of Duty wasn't the first game I played. Um, in general for the first person shooter uh, genre uh, the first game I played actually was Battlefield uh, Vietnam and then jumped to Battlefield 2 and then Battlefield 2142 and that's the last Battlefield game I played uh, on the PC and then after that I jumped to Bad Company 2 uh, a little bit but uh, Call of Duty is where I actually been more comfortable with on the consoles um, I don't think Battlefield should be on consoles that's my personal opinion guys uh, if you guys have something to say about that feel free uh, I think Battlefield is a game that should strictly be on PC um, and the PC players I know are gonna love uh, Battlefield 3 or I hope you guys are gonna love it I'm gonna try it out on the console um, and also the PC, the PC to uh, get a feel for the different sides but uh, I originally started playing uh, Battlefield Vietnam, and that's where I fell in love with first-person shooters. And I mean, today's technology, what they can bring. Battlefield 2 uh, from Battlefield Vietnam was a huge step up for me. Um, jumping into vehicles, helicopters, you know, parachuting down—just crazy things. As when I was younger, I was like, "This is the most ridiculous, ridiculous, you know, experience I've ever felt in the game." Um, Action-packed things going on, but. That's where I started in my first person shooters and I moved on from um, that to Call of Duty. I think Call of Duty hit me actually um, late COD 4 um, and the beginning of Modern Warfare 2 is where I actually started playing Call of Duty, um, the Call of Duty franchise and that's, I'm a, I mean I guess you can say I'm a Call of Duty baby. Um, Call of Duty 4 was not a big hit for me as a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people love Call of Duty 4, love the sniping in Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare 2, I enjoy to the to a point where um, too many ridiculous things started happening. Uh, the game was just not a feel for me later on. And then when Black Ops hit just recently, man, I fell in love with the sniping. I fell in love with the... Um, as a sniper, I always believe there should be some kind of sway in the, uh, when you zoom in um, to make it more realistic, but a lot of people hate this because you can't do as much as you can in Modern Warfare 2. Um, being that I'm not a fan of Modern Warfare 2, and a lot of people might be angry about this, I love Black Ops sniping, and I hope uh, that Modern Warfare 3 has some kind of feel to Black Ops. Um, because Black Ops is, and I think being just being that new to the Call of Duty series, Black Ops is my first uh, game where I'm seasoned. Um, it's my first actual, like, uh, Modern Warfare 2 was a stepping stone. Black Ops is me being seasoned into uh, the gaming Call of Duty series. And jumping back to Call of Duty 4 and testing that out, and also World at War, um, it was a little bit difficult to say the least, uh, because it's just so many different things. Um, so Call of Duty Black Ops is where I'm most comfortable with currently, and uh, maybe I'll look back a couple years from now saying, well, the new commentators, I guess, well, that guy, I've been there, you know, things like that. But that's where I come from in the gaming side, guys. I've, I also used to play RPG games, uh, for those of you who know what World of Warcraft is. I used to play World of Warcraft a couple years ago. Uh, since then, I've since I've been playing the first person and the Call of Duty series, I've kind of stopped on the World of Warcraft train. Um, for those of you who would like to make a comment, go ahead. Feel free. Uh, I know a lot of you probably have played World of Warcraft in the past or are currently playing it as well. So, but uh, moving aside from where I'm from in gaming, um, I want to talk a little bit about what got me to this point, to the Darth Empire. 
um, and where I started on YouTube. I, I started on YouTube a couple years ago. Actually, I think my first channel was like four years ago, and I first started doing like uh, edits. Like I'm talking, not not epic edits, nothing good. Uh, I'm talking about like Windows Movie Maker edits for like basketball, uh, real I mean real life basketball, not games, but um, basketball montages. Uh, like LeBron James, LeBron James, for example. I think my video is still up, and the music is not playing because of copyright issues, but. Um, Things like that that really started pushing the passion for me to be on YouTube because it gave it gave you a chance for an audience to actually look at what you can do and comment. You know, so four years ago where I got my start, um, I believe a year and a half, two years ago is where I actually started getting actually really into it um, and investing money. Um, this this is not a dazzle quality. This is HD PBR. You know, sooner or later you have to invest money and. Um, to get a broad audience and get a bigger opinion because a lot of people nowadays and I'm talking about almost 100% of people would love to see that HD quality um, go through so uh, sooner or later for those of you commentators out there you're gonna have to start investing money and that means investing money into HD TV investing money into um, PS3 like I did or uh, HD PVR um, it's just almost a necessity to um, be on par with uh, how everybody else is doing it, you know, and the equipment that they're using, not, a, not on the commentating aspect, but, you know. And uh, my YouTube career goes on for a little while, actually, with smaller channels. Um, I've actually had a, uh, my first opportunity was a couple months ago, um, and that was uh, director's spot for the Optic Zone, which I am still part of. And it was the first person, Optic Paul was the first person to actually say, you know, here, I'm going to give you a chance, put your videos out, let me see what people think about you, and we'll move on from there. Um, now, f a lot of people think that never happens. Um, I'm a prime example. The Darth Empire is giving me a chance now anyway, to show what I can do to a bigger audience. So I'm very thankful for that, and uh, hopefully I don't let him down. I don't want to let him down, and uh, I plan on not letting him down. I plan on pushing this to the max and uh, bringing a little flavor to the PS3. So... For those of you who actually don't think there's chances out there, there definitely is, and the opportunity is ready for you, I guarantee you. Um, if you're a mature player and um, bring quality content, I'm, I believe there's an opportunity for everybody. Um, now, I mean, it's harder now, but compared to two years ago, but uh, you live on you learn, and uh, you have to push it harder than ever now compared to when there was five people commentating on Call of Duty series. But going back to it, we only have a little bit of time left. I think I've actually talked a lot more than I uh, <laughs> was planning on about different things, but um, YouTube, uh, I used to run a team on YouTube that came up to 350 subscribers, and uh, that channel is currently down. Um, it, was, it was the first channel where we actually had a great response, or I actually had a great response on videos. People were interacting with us, letting us know. And this is the time when Modern Warfare 2 was hot, you know, and um, it was very hard because there were so many people doing it. And, uh, just that 300 people that, and it was a constant 300 people that kept you know viewing our videos so we had constantly 300 views you know comments things like that and uh, that's really what pushed me was the first sign of people really like your stuff um, so that's really what pushed me to keep on doing it and uh, this is where I am now today guys like I said um, so somebody out there will give somebody a chance you know what I'm saying um, I've been given a chance by the Dark Empire team and also the PS3 side, I'm gr very grateful to be on the PS3 team, and uh, hopefully I bring a lot of pain and a lot of uh, exciting videos uh, in the near future. Um, this video is about to wrap up, guys. I hope you guys learned a little bit about me, a little bit of what I like to do, and uh, here's the game, win game winning kill cam. Um, I've been Darth Knight. Until next time, guys.